We are off. We are on the water from the Moscow canoe launch. I'm a little scared, but not sinking, so it's probably going to be fine. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. You want some water for you? You want the water? Are you looking for something over there? Well, I guess we're here. Just looks like there's a big hill and I talked to the guy and I said, I just don't want a place with a big hill. The next challenge is there's super thick looking mud. You see that kind of mud? Balance, balance, balance. Okay, it is the horrible kind of mud and it has a hold of my foot. It has a hold of my shoe. Hold on, I'm gonna help you get out. This is so ridiculous. Get out. This, is, this is horrible. Oh no, there it goes again. So clearly some people have put some branches here. Hold on. I don't want this site. It's like a trail to get to the site. And I have all this stuff. And I looked at the pictures. You know what, this can't be right. There must be another parking spot or something. The fire ring. Plenty of space for plenty of people. The trail down to the water is over there. she's going in there come out of there oh dear I have just texted the number of the ranger which you are supposed to do to check in I checked in but I also told him I'm not sure about this site if this is a good idea for me the hill my knee the dog the mud so I've asked him if there might be another option and now I'm going to just hang out a little bit and calm down be calm and uh, see what he says. I don't know why my chair is all wet, but it's not sinking. Don't panic. This is quite the test for the knee. me again and sent me a map and he said it's two sides down on the right. Let's go. <laughs> Millie is whining because we saw some people ask them what site they were. They said they were site 20. So I just got to get through this. This looks so weird. Oh gosh. I see some kids up there and I should be the next site on the right. Oh, oh, a heron. Some 
go along the shore looking for a sign. <laughs> oh, maybe that's it right there. This must be it. Gotta go over there. Oh yeah, I see the sign number 21. Wow, there's fish right up to the edge. Okay. Is it too big? Hold on. I gotcha, I gotcha. Good. Oh yeah, this is so much better. This is right next to the water. See, that's what I had in mind. I don't think Millie has ever seen a bathroom like this before. <laughs> there we see the shoreline and it comes up several feet in elevation to get up here. And as we're walking around, I notice all of these reeds, which means the water must have come all the way up here. The main reason I worked this hard and came out here is for the solitude. But I have to say, hold on, Millie. That hearing the sound of my distant neighbors and those girls playing in the water is very comforting. It's cool to have neighbors that are far away, you know? From my cot here, I think I can see five camps over a big area. The people closest are across the reservoir over there. Two kids, mom, dad, and dog. And Millie would bark at their dog if she could see it. But she hasn't been able to understand that it's there because it's not barking. You can't really see it. I can see it. Anyway, then across over there, I can see another camp of people and down there and on that side. And it's really cool. It's a fun day and many of these remote sites were booked. It is now time to cook dinner. The dog doesn't really like fire, so she wanted to go in the tent. I'm going to cook a veggie skillet with chicken. I have onion, zucchini, broccoli, red bell pepper, a pepper I grew in my garden, I don't even know what that is, cabbage, sweet potato. This is some fire roasted canned tomatoes with some very spicy sauce added in there. And that's shredded chicken I made at home. And this is sourdough bread. Hopefully this will transform into a delicious meal.
I'm so happy this worked. I suppose humans have been cooking corn cobs over a fire forever, for as long as there are humans. My dessert is a raccoon cake pop from Starbucks. Just going to eat it now so that I can clean up all my trash. Probably vanilla. Hmm. I was reading the rules here and it says to put your food where no animal can get it. So I thought I would hang my food from a tree, like backpacking. Maybe I should have done that at Umbagog as well. wind coming right up the reservoir. Okay, for breakfast this morning, I'm going to make eggs. Might end up being a cheese omelet. I have berries for an appetizer and this delicious bread, and then I'm going to make some coffee. That breakfast turned out so delicious. And I feel so lucky to be sitting here by this beautiful lake with my little dog and my coffee. The sun is coming out and there's a loon. There are three loons, but they're just kind of just beyond where I can get a good shot of it. I didn't bring my giant camera lens this time because I had too much gear and the dog. Just got a fish.
this campsite over here. We park at the big rock and I see their sign on the right. And then up there you can see a bench and a fire ring right on this big point here. So you get this big view. I really want to swim, but I want to get back on the boat. Oh, it feels so nice. The problem is this rock is kind of slimy. And that's bad. The danger is that my knee is still recovering from the last time I stepped on a very slippery rock. So I really can't afford to deal with slippery rocks quite yet. Okay. Anyway, what just happened there is that we stopped at site 13 because I was looking at it a long time and then the dog started freaking out that she had to get out for a minute and we got out and I went swimming and now we're back in to head back. <laughs> okay. I think I got one there. Well, when we came back from swimming, Millie went right to her little spot here. Uh, there's a bald eagle flying right by. And I'm probably, I'm probably too slow. Hmm, it was right there. And then, oh, was that him way over there? Mm, they're so fast. So nice right now, breeze. It's late afternoon, I can't stop thinking about dinner, actually dessert. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my ramen and vegetables. Green bell pepper, edamame, ramen, spice packet, and kale. You don't even have to move to have fun here. But it was fun going in the water. So it's either that the threesome has reunited or that the duo has met with a new person. communication going on. It's the end of the day, a beautiful evening, clear sky, and time for dessert. This is the exciting part. This is Nutella. Yum, I think that's going to be so good.
I was getting used to having neighbors and now they have all gone. Maybe Monday night isn't the least busy night because people can take one more day, like the weekend and a day. And Tuesday night is the loneliest night. No, I'm not lonely. It just is a big change from hearing all those voices and laughter last night. And now it is crickets. <laughs> I think we just heard a beaver. And an owl. Okay, well, I'm out here with the camera to just give it a try, but Nelly is not having it. You have to wait just a minute. I'll be right there. Don't be sad, Millie. We're going to be packing up. We're going to be going home today. All right? Yay. Yay. Oh, boy. It's seven in the morning. It is sprinkling. There's a chance of rain. And I guess I should just say like, I'm probably gonna be getting wet anyway today. Very bad news for me is I just dumped in this extra cinnamon to my oatmeal. And it's not cinnamon. It's some kind of, I think it's a spicy Indian spice mix. So I've decided to go with a field mocha, which is a combination of coffee and hot cocoa. And I also have some oat milk left. I think that will give me enough energy to get back to the car. And now I have an excuse to go to the amazing Woodland Bakery. Well, this site 21 was awesome. Very big site. I think it's all cleaned up and we are ready to load. Load and go. Millie, we're ready to go in the boat. Okay. Good job. She's like, hey, this is not what I signed up for as a lap dog. Okay, this is what it looks like as we're taking off.
Vice 821. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Time check. 8.23. Headwind. Uh, yesterday morning, the wind was blowing up the other direction and would have pushed me all the way home. Oh, a rainbow, big rainbow. Wow. I am coming toward the end and I think I have to go through this little tiny waterway to my left. But that could be a bad mistake. I remember it was low. Is this something I could solve with Gaia GPS? You know, I think that's it. I see it. I see the kiosk. This is right. Yay. A heron. Land ahoy. Let's see if I can park. Yay. This time I thought ahead to pack my car key where I could easily find it. That's true progress. So happy to be back, so happy I went. And now we can go home.